I'm searching the web for the latest gaming news. Searching GameZillaMedia.com, downloading headlines. Alexander, what about this monster story of yours? Download complete. Yeah, this kind of just this kind of came out, and we're right around the uh, we're right around this the next convention, or I, don't know, I guess it is a convention, but the big show. You got your game developers conference coming up here, where a lot of people are going to be dropping some news, and Microsoft is one of them talking about probably their uh, diskless Xbox that's going to be hitting and other things around streaming. But on top of it, they already released this new app where Microsoft is now letting Xbox One owners stream their PC games to the console, use a controller to play them in a uh, new wireless display app. Microsoft enables the support so you can play Steam games or other titles directly on your Xbox One. You can use a regular Xbox controller to control the remote PC, enabling gameplay or even the ability to use Xbox for presentations. So this software originally got developed because of the Microsoft Surface Hub, yeah, and uh, and some of that f- uh, functionality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see where we're going, right? We might have, we might have, I sur- might have access to a Surface Hub five days a week. <laughs> yeah, we might. I'm just saying, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> But Microsoft's wireless display app uses uh, Miracast to create a connection between a PC and the Xbox One, and you can cast to the Xbox using the Win Key Plus P combination. Windows oh, key. Oh, oh, yeah, the Win Key Plus P combination. Yeah, Windows key plus the P button. How about that? <laughs> I think you can figure that part out. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was less technical than I thought it yeah. was. <laughs> Windows <laughs> key plus the P I was button. Thinking, I was thinking it was like a registry key. I go, uh, no one cares about no. that. People don't need to know. No, that. there are different latency modes. <laughs> you have different latency modes built into the app for gaming and watching videos from the remote PC. Uh, and the app is ideal if you want to project a stream or video onto the the xbox uh so there you go the only thing is which i don't think you really need this but you cannot stream protect protected content like netflix mm-hmm. okay so there you go that that's that's pro- your big restriction there but uh this is interesting because they 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 mention steam because it's popular but they instantly say and other stuff so like and then the way the app works is it lets you map your controller back to the pc so like could I stream League of Legends from my PC to my Xbox and play it with a controller? I mean, I'm not saying it'd be good. It'd probably be god-awful. But could I do it if I wanted to? That's my question. That's what I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to test it out. But also, does this mean... You know, you mentioned Steam, but you also say others. So, of course, the Xbox games, if you, for some reason, owned it on PC but not on Xbox, you have to play anywhere now. So maybe that functionality starts... <laughs> enhancing itself but you also have epic game store that we want that i wonder about um and i would assume that you probably could do the same thing uh and it just it's interesting now because here's another way xbox is introducing this just wide open gaming area wide open ability to sit there and do whatever whatever you want with your games so the big issue with the launch of the Xbox One, is Microsoft came out and they were like, "Listen, this box is your multimedia center. This box plays your movies. It, it, you can watch your TV through your Xbox. You can do all the stuff no one asked for, no one cared about. <laughs> right. And now, the it's, it's the the inter, the life of this system is going to be so interesting looking back in ten years because it went from this is your at home media box, it does everything to this is a box that lets you play video games however you want. No one cares about the TV functionality or any of that other crap no one used. They turned this thing into the best way to play video games in the most ways possible. And that's, in, that's crazy when you think about the backwards compatibility, uh, Xbox Game Pass, and now streaming directly from your PC through Steam or whatever whatever application you use, casting it over to your Xbox and playing it on your TV. That that's so crazy to think that you can do all of that with an Xbox One S now or Xbox One X compared to at the beginning what they were trying to sell you. Right. Exactly. They got they got it together. They figured out what people want to do with an Xbox yeah. and what they don't want to do with an Xbox. And now they're letting you do it. Yeah. I regret not owning an Xbox after things like this. It's like, man, they keep coming out with cool stuff. It seems like every couple months that make you go, man, 
they're they're really setting themselves up to just destroy the next generation. They really are, and I mean, when you watch things like this, and you go like, right now, I'm playing Hades, which is um, Sucker uh, Sucker Punch yeah. uh, latest game, and it's only on PC. And right now, I'm playing it through the Epic Store, right? Because that's where the early release hit. If if this indeed would allow me to push it to my Xbox and play uh, with with an Xbox controller. You know, more more like like it was actually on the Xbox. I'll do it right now. You know, like that's that's really cool. This also starts to play into this idea, though, that they've already come out and said we're going to offer Xbox Live as a service to anyone that wants to use it. iOS, Android, Switch. They even mentioned PS4 today. They even mentioned Sony, which will never happen, but they mentioned it. And so. I mean, it'll never happen besides the fact of, like, Minecraft, right? Like, because yeah. they own it. But so you sit back here and you're like, wow, they're, not only are they tying that into the fact that now it's like, what if the creator of Hades decided to use the Xbox Live service? And even though I'm streaming it from the Epic Store to my Xbox, I'm still, I'm still, I still have achievements or something like yeah. that. On top of all of that, you're sitting back and you're looking at it and you go, wow, this really plays into them setting up all these little things we've been hearing about. So keyboard and mouse support on the Xbox. We heard about it. It's a thing already. You can you can order a Razer keyboard and mouse that's specially licensed by Xbox that'll work for certain games only. But now it's starting to really look like maybe that was just a test because now if I can stream PC games to my Xbox, let's say you can stream League of Legends, and I want to use a keyboard and mouse input, Maybe I will at one point, you know, because maybe they're just they're just getting ready. They just started small here and there because they learned from their lessons to not bite off more than they can chew with stupid things like the connect. And they just instead go with these smaller test subjects and go, this works or this doesn't work. And we've seen things disappear. Sure. That, you know, that didn't work that we were like, oh, I thought we were getting this feature. Well, now we're not, but now we're getting these other things that are way more impactful to a gamer from these um, emulators to play original Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One games all from one system to sharing our games almost in any direction at this point. You got a Surface, you got a, you got a Microsoft Surface, now you, can, you can beam shit to that too. Yeah. It's just crazy how f- much freedom this company that, like you said, not that many years ago felt like a prison and so i yeah i can't believe the turnaround they've made and i really look forward to what we're going to hear at the uh the game development conference here this week i think next monday next show we're going to have a lot to talk about from from microsoft from google you know all these companies but especially microsoft because they are gearing up for an e3 that they seem to be set up to just they're going to make all of our jaws drop. I'm really calling it right now. We're going to walk out of E3. We're going to lead into E3 with all these just things where we're like, wow, that's really cool. Wow, that's really cool. And then we're going to leave E3 like, oh, wow, I, I got to pre-order one of these things. Whatever this next box they call it, I need one. And that's good. It's good for them.